yeah so we're down here at my compost setup wow i'm getting a lot of notifications right now too and everyone's like jazzed about how the compost grows such great food so we're like hey let's maybe we'll just take some of this stuff what is it we can eat it this is onions this is watermelon this is all kinds of stuff but um caution you know those who want to just jump in and grab everything because like these onions they haven't even seen any cold yet so they're gonna be soft you could eat the greens though for sure let's turn around and have a look and see what we got so here we got some some greens from them they're full of water they're delicious and they're super healthy and there's nothing bad in my compost piles because i don't put anything bad in it but right from there and there's some sweet potato down there, some sweet potato over here. We did just harvest a couple sweet potato plants to see how they were doing. We have some more time to grow. And like here's a bundle of these that come straight out of the ground. It's new growth, so the, the greens on these are super, super healthy. But you can see that the onion below is not developed yet. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, these are walkers. So they wouldn't really, really be truly ready until next year sometime. But my compost is going to get turned over and all the stuff's ending up in it. And that was kind of the subject of this particular discussion, is that this is the compost station. We put a lot of green manure in here. You can see basil with basil seeds and everything like that is all right here. We don't mind if there's volunteers everywhere. Yeah, oh, so we're getting some of them onions in our dinner tonight. I'm loving it. And there you can see an exploded watermelon. It blew up when we had the hurricane came through. But this stuff is going to get cycled from here. My green manure, wood chips, uh, there's a rabbit manure, there's some chicken manure, there's a bunch of other things that are in this pile. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that pile, I'm going to take all the garden waste that we had made up this year, whether it has seeds or not, and it's going to get put into the bioheater that I use to heat my greenhouses on the other side. Let's have a look at that. All right, so here we go. Y'all can see it start to come in focus here. There's my pepper greenhouses just above and there's some tomatoes growing in there too so we're going to be extending peppers all the way through and maybe we'll get some more harvest from the tomatoes if they do some production for us it's hard to say sometimes they do sometimes they don't but i can always kick up the lights and extend my days as well and sometimes it happens but this is the bio heater right here this pile right here stewed all winter and all spring it's a lot smaller than it was it's shrunken down quite a bit but what you see on top is basically just the parent media and inside this pile it's a little bit more broken down so this is going to be most of the composted wood chips that i put in this fall the great thing about it is it's right here at the garden i'm just at the bottom of the garden so since i'm at the bottom of the garden i can start removing what's on top of this pile i can put it in my little gorilla cart <laughs> i love the cart and then i can roll it pretty much right up there and enter the garden or around on the other side i have a little uh egyptian style ramp i don't know it wasn't meant to be derogatory it's more of a compliment anyway i can roll it up into the garden here so this is a great place to look at that angle once the top of this has been removed and spread in the garden the compost from before is going to go on top and that stuff's going to start getting hot really hot and it's going to heat the middle of this pile and then some of that heat is going to transfer through the tubes right here i'll show you right from the side if this was all covered up in the greenhouse plastic it'd be hard to, to show you so there's that one end where a power blower goes and it pulls the cool air from the bottom of the greenhouse and it cycles that cool air into the warm pile and then it comes up on the other side which you might barely be able to make up in the picture and it moderates really it does it moderates the temperature now look at these dragon cayennes right here baby dragon cayennes oh yeah it's hot in there it's so hot in there with all these hot peppers i can't put the cover on this until it's like 20 degrees outside because it's just so crazy hot hot y'all hear me when i say hot I'm talking Carolina hot. Follow me, folks. I'll show you how to grow some wicked peppers and onions. Maybe tomatoes. Who knows? Whatever we feel like growing.
Okay, but you get the process anyway, right? Uh, that's that's the basic premise of the rotation of the ingredients. They go from being a crop and being harvested and then being an aged out senesce crop to being harvested again, where we take the green part and the woody part of the crop and we put it into our compost system and it enters into that compost system over here to my right as a heat amend to keep my greenhouses warm all winter long. And then the following fall, I have this really great compost that I can spread on the rest of the garden when there's not as much of a chance that I might get a high influx or large pressure from the wind blown weeds and whatnot. Uh, they do exist and it does happen here, but I'm in such a big sea of Bermuda grass by uh, the end of fall, there's really not many seeds kicking around. You know, we've cut the grass down and they've been broken down in the soils. The sun has solarized them, etc. cetera. Uh, we don't till anything, of course. So that's pretty much how it works. So this stuff is going to make warm air for my peppers and tomatoes and whatever else I feel like growing, including what we start in the spring on shelves and racks in here. So it reduces the cost of heating for me, which is great because I don't like paying for stuff that I don't really need to pay for. And um, it also affords me the opportunity to circulate air a little bit more, which is great for the plants. They need that air movement. If they don't have that air movement, they tend to not do as well. I don't think y'all can see me anymore because the sun is in the way, isn't it? How about now? Maybe I'll end this chat earlier. But look, be good. I'll be well. Keep at it. Get plants in the ground.